Hi everybody, welcome to Wool and Wine, episode 32. I'm Tammy. I'm Claudia. I'm Janet. And we are a knitting podcast, and we're all retired. And if you're new here, we're super happy to have you. And welcome back to our regular viewers. And today is December 18th, and we are recording here from Bellbrook, Ohio, which is a suburb of Dayton, Ohio. And it's a beautiful day today. Sunny cool, and it's bright. nice, sunny and bright in sweater weather. It is. It's chilly. It is chilly. I was babysitting yesterday over at Amber's with the little grandbabies and out in the kitchen making lunch for them. And there's windows all around. I look up and it is absolute white oh. out snow. White out. So I called the kids in and I'm like, climb up here on this bench. You've got to see this. <laughs> yeah, I bet they were excited. And Blakely, the two-year-old, she said, Mama, hoodie, play outside? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well. Oh, that is so cute. I, the way she put that whole little sentence together so quick, I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> but funny. the answer was no. We didn't go outside and play in the snow. It was snowing <laughs> sideways, yeah. and it would have just been stuck on our faces and not on the ground so much. Yeah. yeah. I was doing hard. some shopping yesterday, and I went in. I was like, I don't know what they were talking about with this weather. Yeah, right. Thing. And I go in, I come walking out of the store, and it's just snowing like crazy and blowing. So like, were you down by the Dayton Mall area, like at the south of town? Or no, where? I was down at Centerville. Oh, okay, so, so down in that area, huh. yeah. Because I almost felt like I got almost none. Occasionally I'd look up and there was snow, but it wouldn't yeah, last Rick's, very long. Rick said here we didn't get anything and I mean it was white out you could not see across the street oh I wanted it to have I wanted to have yeah. some <laughs> well, I love the snow yeah I mean and then 20 minutes later I you know I was making mac and cheese and by the time <laughs> that was done I looked out and it had stopped snowing the sun was out uh -huh. and that heat from the sun had melted all the remnants I thought, boy, I'm going to need to borrow a broom, clean my car <laughs> off, because I don't have, I need to put my snow scraper and things on the car. <laughs> but I, that fast, it was gone, and it That's was windshield amazing. wipers, and I was good to go. Yeah, the uh -huh. road was hardly even damp, so. Crazy. Anyway, I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, right. So, before, before we get too far. Yeah. Cheers, cheers to you. And Merry Christmas to yes. everybody. Happy holidays, Happy whatever holidays. you're celebrating. Yes, exactly. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Mmm. It's a young one, but man, I think that's going to be tasty. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best of wine. Yeah. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> Right. So we'll probably do our typical episode, but we do have a special announcement that we're going to make a little bit later because yeah. we have two holiday giveaways that we're going to do for our viewers. And yes. that's based on comments from our last episode. We had a quite a few comments, yes, but we did. we'll later mm -hmm. on, later on in this episode, um, we will do our random prize winner comment picker yeah <laughs> and show you who that is so yeah yeah but it's I, exciting I, yeah <laughs> it good is. luck it's to like, everyone yeah but it is exciting because we have some um timely gifts to give to all of or to two of you yes <laughs> we'd love to give it to all of you but <laughs> yeah <laughs> only so much <laughs> i know right um okay so do you want to go first talking about what you're wearing? I can certainly do that. Okay. Um, this is a Metamorphic by Andrea Mowry. And it, I use the Nitpix Gloss DK in the colorway Blackberry. That's the, I don't know, is that the main color, I guess? Yeah. And yes. then Yarn Hero Merge Sport in the colorway Daydreamer. And there it is. Oh, look how gorgeous. Oh, wow. my gosh. Wow. The look, camera's really picking up all those beautiful colors. Yeah, I <laughs> love this color. I mean, it's, I tried to, like, kind of get the sides to match, but they don't, but I don't care. 
<laughs> I didn't even yeah. notice that until I looked on the mirror. It shows more everything. All color changes show more yes. in the camera than they actually do yes. in real life. Yeah, it is a... Uh, okay, so I knit the size 40, basically 41, which is really not my size, but I went up a needle size to a 20 gauge. Ah, uh, okay. Where the gauge by by her pattern is a 22. So I went down a size, went up a size in the needles and worked out perfectly. Yeah, you definitely wow. got a good fabric on that. Yes, cuz that's yeah. I think I was doing the swatch you know, it's been last year I think when I did this and so the swatch that I did I just liked the look of the 20 gauge mm -hmm. and so that's I just went with it. Yeah, it really you know what? It gives more space for your color changing yarn to actually show between the stripes of that deep plum yeah. color. Yeah. It just, it's really good. Thank you. Yeah. And it does fit really well. It does, yeah. My only complaint is uh, up here, there, it's not super straight. Well, I look down and it goes, eh. Looks straight to me. <laughs> it looks straight, but it could be the way you laid it when you blocked it because well, it be. it's always on the same stitch. Right. So well, the only thing I could think of was that maybe these are looser or something. There might be a, oh. a discontinuity in the gauge or something, but. It looks it's amazing. Okay. I'm not gonna, Everywhere, I'm gonna... front, back, sides, side seam, Thank sleeves, you. all of it. It just yeah. and yeah, and my sleeves, I kind of made a bracelet length. I don't know if you can, if you can see that. And I kind of like it that way. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit, a little bit cooler. But um, I have had so many compliments on this sweater when mm. I wear it. Every time I wear it. People want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's my what I'm wearing today, and you'll see a little video clip. Yep. So, who's next? Okay. Hi. Do you want to go? Ah, uh, yes, I am wearing the Susurrus by Hoey Locatelli. That is so, I love your colors. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. And this is considered my holiday sweater. It's very I made festive. this last year, sometime as soon as the pattern came out. Last we all year? made it. I think was it was it last two, year. No. Was it two years ago? Two, oh, that's right. Two. It's been two it years. Two, yeah. <laughs> that was in the Pom Pom magazine. Yeah. And it was on the cover of the Pom Pom yes. magazine. And that was probably winter of 21. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's so been a while. Been <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might but be, I might be wrong. I can now. look it up. Yeah, go ahead. Because, yeah, because we all made the, it. We all made right. it at around the uh, same, same time. time right? We all made these and. We we're all so excited to make them. So, um, we love them. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, so, the yarns I'm using. Okay, so the main color, or it's not the main color. I don't know. The stripes. The lace. <laughs> the, 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 the lace. lace the lace. <laughs> <laughs> that, that has, um, that has some beautiful, yeah. It is called, it's a Destination Yarn Silver Shiny. So yeah, it has that beautiful Stellina in it, and the color of this is Bordeaux. Gorgeous. And then um, for the mohair section, I am using the Debbie Bliss Angel in the colorway Claret. So let me just March of 2020. Let me hold oh, okay. this up so you can say something. hopefully see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So you can kind of see what it looks like. So, 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 so pretty. So we did make those in, well, I finished mine, or started mine in March of 20. So that's oh, three wow. years ago. Three years. <laughs> I thought I've had it for a while, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Wow, so this is an old sweater. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I know, I know that I wore it last year for sure, Christmas time, and <laughs> probably worn it 
of the last couple of years. <laughs> Probably. So, coming <laughs> a. I need to make Time another flies. Christmas one. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. And I don't know of any modifications I made on this. I think it's right to pattern. Uh huh. So, yeah, it's so, so, so pretty. It is. Yeah. It's a good Thank one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What are you wearing, Tony? Okay, <laughs> I am wearing the Sunday sweater by Petite Knit. And I knit the size 41 and 3 quarter, which is the medium. So I probably did make some modifications. I'm sure I made it shorter, and I probably made the sleeves a little shorter than what it calls for. But it's coming across on camera very red. However, um, there are two yarns held together because I wanna say that this is like a 14 or 16 stitch gauge. Is that what that looks like to you? Looks, it's pretty big game. Yeah, I would like say a, like a 16. Yeah. Um, it is Barocco vibe in the poppy colorway and held with Knit Picks Alpaca Bloom in flame red. So, you pro oh yeah, you can see the marling. It still is coming across a lot brighter than it actually is, but it's a very marled sweater and it really is that um, Alpaca Bloom. I think mm. is nice. making it very deep and rich. Yeah. I don't know. It so could, beautiful. could be either one of them. Both of those yarns are flipping amazing. And I'm pretty sure there's cotton in the Barocco vibe. I feel like it's part cotton, part alpaca. So this might be mostly mm -hmm. an alpaca um, sweater, but I love it. I wear it a lot and, um, it's just easy to throw on and well, wear. Well, it's a nice I Christmas. I just love it. Yes. Yeah. It's very nice for the holidays. It is. It's a holiday red, but I wear it. All as soon as the weather gets it. cool enough, I got it on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it'll be my Valentine's sweater. Yeah. It'll, but I actually have a couple of red sweaters, and I, I really... This makes me want to do a red sweater. Yeah, red is one of my colors, I think. I can do a more of an orangey red than a blue red. See, I so. like the blue red. I think the blue red is my jam. Yeah. yeah. So I love that tonal look, yeah, look it to looks it. Yeah, awesome. It just gives Beautiful. it that depth. And it's such an mm -hmm. easy pattern. If you are a new sweater knitter and you're looking for something that's a quick, um, quick win, uh -huh. this is it, I think, because mm -hmm. it's the increases are done in the, the rows of ribbing and it's just, you know, make ones. It's a pretty simple mm -hmm. and her patterns are very clear as you know if if you've paid attention uh, Petite Knit is a very popular designer um, I think we did what's the other one called the summertime version that has something similar to this that radiates out oh yeah that's the Sundays no this is the Sunday no, sweater yeah. what was that called Anyway, she's got several that have this kind of a look to them. Um, this also is in a cardigan. I'm pretty sure there was a, a cardigan yeah, pattern is. for yes. this as yeah, well. There is. I've, I've made the cardigan. It. I yeah. think you have too. Uh, the, no, I didn't make the cardigan. Oh. I think um, oh, our was, friend yeah, Melissa, Melissa made did. the cardigan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One of these days we're going to have to have Melissa on because we keep talking we about do, her. We do. We talk about her all the time because <laughs> you she's... You don't even know who we're talking about. She, well, if you saw us at Rhinebeck, Melissa was with oh, us. Oh, that's true. And yeah. um, so you also saw her picture in our Rhinebeck recap uh -huh. because she was with us in any pictures of the group that mm -hmm. she wasn't the one taking the picture. Yeah. <laughs> so, so definitely true. along the way. Yes. Um, we were all standing with Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. I hope you're watching. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but when we ran into Rebecca and Mega, hi, Mega, and Amy. Hi, hey, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hello, all you wonderful people. Um, but when we ran into them, uh, Melissa was with us wearing the Corin cardigan. That's right. And so there, are, there was definitely a picture in that episode.
of all of us standing together with Rebecca, mm -hmm. showing off her amazing cardigan. Yeah. So, anyway, let's talk about finishes, because I know you've got at least one. Oh, I have one finish, yes. I have, so if you've been watching, you've seen me working on the Souk Moon by Ageo Knit. And I, <clears throat> it's a drop, it's kid silk in blue wind and Juniper Moon Farms Patagonia Organic Merino and Anthracite. And here it is, it's all finished. Oh my goodness wow. gracious. Yeah. And the sleeves, oh. it just has such a nice, drape to it and the back so there's some short rows in the back to let the back get a little bit longer so let's see did i make any adjustments i'll tell you what though it, it it's really comfortable to wear and it when it blocked out it it definitely lengthened and that's because when i was knitting on it the the uh, mohair stripes kind of gather up a little bit mm -hmm. and then when I blocked it they all they relaxed, relaxed out. and oh. so it, went, it got a little bit longer and the sleeves turned out perfectly I think and hmm, I did make one modification on uh, the raglan increases because it was she had to do a pearl knit pearl and I you know and I just couldn't even see it and I didn't I just didn't like doing that, so <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I stopped and I did two. Did my increase followed by two knit rows and another increase, and I moved that third, that extra stitch from the raglan increase to the front. So gave me two stitches more in the front. Not that it really needed it, but anyway, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's definitely on my list. Yeah. I have some lavender yarn or mohair that would be just oh. so good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. And it was, a, you know, it's just, <laughs> so, so when I was knitting the sleeves, I go, okay, so I had to, I counted all the, the mohair ridges or rows and said, okay, that's how many rows I need to have on the other sleeve. Well, then I found out that, oops, I think my other sleeve, <laughs> was a little bit I think I had some longer rows in here and shorter rows on the other side oh 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 right because <laughs> and I'm like how can I not count right? there's two rows with just mohair and, and then four. some number of rows yeah. with holding mohair and together. the other yarn together right and so I, I kind of screwed up okay so I have to <laughs> but ask but you can't tell no. Did you carry the main color? I did. Does she say to? Because I can't I imagine. I don't remember. I can't imagine weaving in all those ends. No, it's right here. Uh, you You'd can, never if, see it. You if just you can't hold even. it up. Oh, yeah. You, if you hold it up to the You can light, see the line, yeah. You can you can see it. But wearing it, you'll never see that. Yeah, because it's, no. it's on the other yeah. side anyway. Because we, when we did this one, you could not carry the um, wool true you had to weave in those ends every single stripe yeah. of lace yeah but that, so. that is only two rows between so yeah exactly but that is gorgeous you have to be so happy with that i am i can't i haven't really worn it out yet because <laughs> i love my uh um rubinia i've worn that out a couple times because oh man i love that thing I'll tell you what, that with a pair of like drapey blacks, dressy oh, slacks would yeah. be so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Or even like a silvery gray. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Yeah, that would be nice. So it is wow. the season for those beautiful I sweaters. Know. That's so festive. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe man, I'll wear it, it tomorrow. Is. There you go. Oh, oh yes. right. yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. I'll see what mm -hmm. I have in my closet to get with it. <laughs> <laughs> I can wear my like leather pants or something. Yeah, oh, there you go. Too. Yeah. So, do you have a finish? I do. 
And I have some, okay, to start out with, I have got some dishcloths. And the first one is the Network Dishcloth by Knit Picks. It's pretty. It is pretty. And it's just got a little bit of pattern in it. So that used about a half a skein of this yarn here, which is the sugar and cream. And it's the ombre and it's called chocolate ombre. And then I did another one, just a garter stitch. I thought it was pretty just on its own to just do a garter. So it can be either way. It is. That color looks really good with granite uh -huh. countertops too. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be gifting these for Christmas. And then I did a face cloth that was just no pattern. That's just pretty. Look at that this color. up. Mm -hmm. And I used this yarn called I Love This Cotton. And the colorway is purple. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> That's like a royal purple. That's beautiful. Yes, thank you. Your so. intended gift recipients are going to love that. <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> okay, so I have talked about the um, stocking that I made one of already it doesn't have a name and this is one that i just kind of made up the pattern for from different things so here it is and i did show there's a video and so you can see how big it is. This thing's ginormous. Um, all acrylic yarn from either Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I don't even know. And all of the information about this is on Ravelry. And they're, the charts that I used for this are on Ravelry. Feel free, copy. do whatever you want with them. I will not make a pattern for this. Um, but anyway, I there's nobody to give credit to. It's a vanilla sock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bigfoot. It's, it's, yeah, I was going to say Dolly Green Giant. It's yeah. just, yeah, so if we have any babies born around the holidays, that would be really cute to um, oh, put them in put them, put yeah. them into, up to their armpits and do a little picture. So we'll see. Um, anyway, good. I'm happy with it. It's been hanging on the fireplace uh, in the living room with the other one that I made. Mm -hmm. So I guess this one's, I don't know if it's mine or Rick's. We're not really going to put anything in them. They're just for show. <laughs> they're right? just, yeah, they're just hanging there for decoration. So, so beautiful. No big deal. I'm going to yeah. toss that over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do you have another finish? No, I did do some washcloths, but I've already given them and what given them away, and I forgot to take pictures. <laughs> so okay, so do you have more finishes? Nope. All right, then I'll go ahead real quick and go through these. So Rick has a bunch of women in the office who are in management and administrative that provide him with a ton of support. And so we always, I say we, I put the gift basket <laughs> together every year. And this year I decided to knit hats for them. I've never um, made anything before. I did make some um, fingerless mitts at one time, I guess several years ago, and sold them for like 20 bucks a pair. And it was like just some generic vanilla. Um, but I made the hats, and you all saw the hats on our last episode.
and I kept thinking as I was putting these baskets together um, that I didn't have enough in there and I really wanted more and I still had extra yarn because those were made with scraps. So there is a <clears throat> pattern I found on Ravelry called the Easy Fingerless Mitts by Maggie Smith. And it's a worsted pattern, and I've modified the heck out of it. But <laughs> this mohair is getting me. <laughs> um, anyway, I made three pair. So this one goes with the lavender and the hat. And so I made a black pair identical to these and a blue pair. So the black one is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes, and then the blue pair is Wool of the Andes in Sapphire Heather. And so all of them have the same um, yarn at the top for the ribbing and the bottom, and that is the Patton's Classic Wool. Get my elbows out, there we go. Patton's Classic, it's a um, DK weight. And so I held that with Drops Kids Silk white mohair and just held those together to make these. So I've got three pair. Um, he took two pair, the two of the baskets in today. And so the person that's receiving these isn't in the office today. So he's gonna take it Friday, but I snatched them out because um, I wanted to be able to at least show that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then real quick, three dishcloths, this one I showed last time. It is the Aster Flower dishcloth. It's all done in scraps. That is yellow in the middle and it's barely coming up. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's just all these little, I had nubbins of um, cotton yarn left over. And the main color on that is the sugar and cream. Boy, that sunshine coming in is really blowing out. But there's the sugar and cream. And this is the Sonoma colorway. And I just, you know, striped it. And even though it was all that, I tied all these knots in the back. And you'll never find them. I mean, it's so easy to weave them in and under these little asters. And then I did two others. So I just had a bunch of this cotton and decided to just knit some. So I now have five dishcloths to give as hostess gifts for our holiday events. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Lucky, you're lucky hostesses. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Because you want to be able to take something beautiful uh -huh. when you go. Yeah. And that and a bar of that soap that Melissa always has oh, from right. Napa uh -huh. makes a beautiful gift. It does. So. Well, so we've got whips, but we had a discussion and decided that we're going to go ahead and tell who our giveaway winners are. Yay. We just did Ooh. our random comment picker. Yes, yeah. we did. <laughs> Do you want to show what the prizes are before we oh, yes. tell? Yes. Tell who won. Yes, yeah, so each each one of our two winners gets one of one of the two project bags. That is so, so cute. Here's how cute that is on the inside and the outside with the drawstring. Beautiful bag, holds a full sweater. And then you will get one of these. Beautiful little notions pouches from Portugal. And here's what the other bag looks like. Very festive and red and white stripes like little peppermint sticks. Uh -huh. So pretty. And, and inside these pouches oh, <laughs> are a couple of cute little stitch markers. So there's one. And let's see if we can get this other one to show. I think we had trouble with him last time. There we go. Anyway, those are in the little zipper pouches. So And also a pattern from Rebecca Clough. Oh, right. The newest pattern 
which is called the <laughs> Daft Days. The Daft Daft Cardigan Days. and the Daft Days <laughs> shawl. shawl. And those were so. graciously donated by one of our viewers, Sharon Burr from Australia. Thank yes. you again, Thank Sharon. Thank you so much, so Sharon, kind. for donating these so kind. Okay. patterns. So we're going to put the two prize winners up on the screen. So we did the random comment picker and took a photo. And then in editing, the first one will be right here. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> Congratulations, Tammy Frost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're one of our winners. And then the next one is... Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Christina Tardif. Um, it's C.A. Tardif 1458. So anyway, email us. We need some information from you. We have no idea where in the world you're located. Right. And it really doesn't matter, except that if you're not in the United States, we're going to need your name, address, phone number, and your Ravelry name, because those two um, patterns are going to be gifted to you by our viewer. So she's donated those and she'll actually um, purchase them as a gift directly into your Ravelry. So that's going to be very it's important. Very cool. But if, yeah, mm -hmm. if we have to fill out a customs form, we're going to have to have a phone number for you as well. So um, email that to us. Our email is in the show notes. Everything we talk about is in the show notes. We, yes. are, we always forget yes. to say that, but it's very detailed. Um, and please type your address as we would write it on a label to mail it to you because, you know, different places have different formatting. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and if you write it all in one line, we're going to be so screwed. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, where do we, especially if you're overseas. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to know. But congratulations. That is so exciting. Yeah. Yes, it Isn't is. Isn't that so cool? It is. It's very yeah. cool. So this is just a holiday giveaway. Um, we've hit 3,700 subscribers. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do so because it really helps our channel get out in front of other like-minded people who love knitting like we do and wine. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like we do. We yeah. also love all your comments so yeah. much. Oh, yeah. Thank um, you so much. You're so past kind. episode. I mean, there were so many beautiful sweaters that you've all made and are working on for the holidays mm -hmm. and oh, lovely so comments. And we appreciate them so much. We may mm -hmm. not have responded, but we definitely oh, let you know my heart or whatever that we, that read we did read them. Yeah. all we do of read them. them. Yes, yes. We definitely do. Yeah, it's busy this time of year with the holidays. Oh, oh I know. So, yeah, we don't always have time. Yeah, but we absolutely love them. Please keep the comments coming. Yes. And so, you know, we'll probably do another giveaway when we hit that next thousand mark. So we're mm -hmm. only, you know, what, a few hundred subscribers away from hitting that. So, yeah, um, yeah please, please hit that subscribe button if you can. Okay, so what are we on to? Whips. Whips, whips, whips. 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 What whips. we're working Lots on. Whips. Okay. We're working on, and we always have whips, right? Yeah. <laughs> you may get to see these over and over, and you probably yeah. get tired of them after a while, especially my little Cartwright <laughs> sweater that I've been working on for almost a year. <laughs> but it hasn't been a constant. <laughs> right. Yeah, you haven't shown it every time. Uh, yeah, I, it was in hibernation for a while. Just had to get motivated. <laughs> but here I am working on the sleeve. Oh yeah, you are. And I did have to go up a needle size because it was just too tight, and so I went up a needle size to a four through the color work. And then with my, this uh, tweed pattern, it was too, you know, too 
too gappy or something. Too open, yeah. yeah. And so I went back down to a three for the for the, um, the tweed pattern, and I think that was a good move. It doesn't look like it's changed uh, changed anything. So it's beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was concerned because so I was kind of hoping that I would end up with something like, okay, here's my sweater. <laughs> And I wanted this to kind of match, like, you know, kind of like that in my bot on my arm, but it's not going to happen. It's going to be more like this. But you know what? Today I was looking on there on the pattern page mm -hmm. and the projects, and there's almost none that have <laughs> that. Match. that. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm going to keep going and hopefully get that done soon. Yeah. 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 That was so nice. Yeah, yeah. Was. And I did modify this bigly because <laughs> I put this in the round because it was supposed to be pieces. Oh, right. And I knitted in the round and the sleeve was supposed to be flat. And I knitted that in the round as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that was, yeah, I can't imagine not doing it in the round. How are you going to try it on? Can you imagine if I would have finished the whole thing? And then oh. sewed it up, and then it, would, it wouldn't have fit at all. Right. You know, I did horrible. that with um, the beech nut pullover. Oh, you did really? Uh, I ended up having to knit a strip and graft it together. Oh, my gosh. Because it, uh, yeah, it was ridiculous. You can't tell now, though. <laughs> oh, Thank yeah. God, it's no, on your you arm. Unless I walk around like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll just think it's part of the pattern. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, it's on that interesting. Sleeves. Why yeah. is it back there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's um, coming along nicely. It is. Oh, and yes, and this was made, uh, her pattern is Jenny Atkinson is the designer. And I use seeing the Cascade 220 fingering. Colorways are silver, lemon, charcoal, and white. So that's a great yarn. And it as is. long as you've been working on it and you know, had it on your lap knitting and dragging that thing all over the place yeah. to work on it. Yeah. It's really a workhorse yarn. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd think you would have had to depill it by now. <laughs> She's right. It has not been blocked yet though. <laughs> Yeah, so that, but you know what I'm saying? It's yes. Like, that proves that that is really good yarn yeah. to be able. It's getting a little like fuzzy. Halo y. Yeah, but I like but it. Not, yeah. It looks good. It does look good. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully I will get that. I'll Maybe by next time I'll have my sleeve done and on here. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Let's see. I'll, I'll see if I can. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really depends on how much time you have over the holidays. Yeah, right. How so. much downtime and not party time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is kind of party, party yeah. season. It is party season. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, do you have whips? I do. <laughs> <laughs> we knew the answer. But, you know, like, what you got, Janet? <laughs> See, the first one is the Steam Valley in the Lady Size by Along Epic Anna. AKA Anna Dervo. And I've made some progress on this. Here it is. Okay, That's so okay. I got the stitch marker, so I've I've made some progress in the body. So it's moving yeah. along but a little bit slower than I want, but it... oh, well. anyway. Like we busy busy about. time of the year. <laughs> yes, it is. So, um, the yarns that I'm using for the main color is the Knit Picks Upcycle Alpaca. And the colorway of that is granite. And then for the colorwork sections, I'm using um, the Wool of the Andes. And it's in the worsted. Everything's worsted weight here. So I have the amethyst heather, the sapphire heather, and the white for the color work. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. So, it looks really pretty when you hold it up. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, up to you like you were wearing it, right? Right. <laughs> it's a good color. So, it is a good color, yeah. So on this particular one, it did not have a neckline. 
and it's just one of those where it just kind of rolls. I decided to go ahead and add a little neckline because I prefer it just to be like a little ribbing. So that's what I did on this, but that's the only modification so far on this. Mm -hmm. so. And I made that same sweater and I was going to let it roll, but it was so far out here, I decided to add that at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So, so you got to add it at the beginning. Right. So. <laughs> There's an advantage to, to having a friend make it first. <laughs> there is an advantage to having a friend. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. And it's very pretty. So, it's going to look great. And this is just so soft. I mean, this upcycle alpaca is just dreamy. It's just so soft and squishy. So I'm really like knitting with it. Yeah, that's really. It's a really pretty uh, color yeah. combination. Yeah. So, so nice. Low contrast yeah. except for that white that's I know. right. It really pops yeah, it really up. pops yeah. up white. Okay. So I am still working away on my plaid sweater. There is no pattern for this. I just used the cast on neck stitch count of the Andrea Maori, what is it, her DRK everyday sweater, but that was the only Thing. I didn't even do ribbing and that one starts with ribbing. I just wanted, I liked how big and open my neckline was on that sweater. So I used that to cast on. So I've made quite a bit of progress. I have actually, um, I was gonna make a tunic and I have decided that I like it better not as a tunic. I So I bound off, oh, I guess how I can pretty. show you. Wow. <laughs> Um, I'm working my way down wow. with, so this yarn is very speckled and it's got blue speckles. And so I am using, um, a blue and a white to mimic the color of the speckles. These vertical stripes are coming out of the raglan and that will make more sense once I get the other raglan and sleeve um, vertical stripes in. It Right now it looks like it's coming from nowhere and I haven't done them on this side yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm banging my water glass <laughs> over here. <laughs> anyway, I started one of the sleeves just to know how it was gonna fit on the sleeve. And now that I know how great it fits, um, I decided to go ahead and do the body. I am doing a split hem. So I've got the front done and the back is going to be longer. So this is being knit with oh, God, all kinds of stuff here. This is the Manos, Manos del Uruguay oh. Alegria Grande, and it says it was $28 a skein, and I think that's actually right. This is the skunk colorway, but you can see how it's got the blue right at the edge of every one of the white. And um, I ended up buying a few more of these. I originally bought this when we all went down to... Hanks. Hanks in, uh, is it Cincinnati yeah. or, or yes. Sh Sharonville? No, it's, it's... It's in a suburb, isn't it? It is a suburb, but it... Oh, what is that one? Yeah, anyway, Hanks is where I purchased this. And I got a sweater's quantity. This is a... Um, DK weight, no, I'm lying. I don't even know. So 197 yards to 100 grams. So it's like that a, is a DK weight, yeah. 197 right? now. Worsted? No, it's more of a worsted. Well, yeah, I, I would say more, yeah, I would say worsted. Okay, so maybe worsted weight. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in my worsted cabinet. I think that's where I was keep. I have an entire cabinet of worsted weight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say I'm a little bit ashamed, but... <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> it, it was stored there. Um... Anyway, it's super squishy, and I will say someone gave me the suggestion of do not, or be cautious doing all the vertical stripes before you block it because this is super wash. That yarn, um, she thought it was silk. It is not. This is 
Ciro. Oh, that blue Ciro you have. Yeah. Oh, nice. Do I have a tag? I do. The Fiber Company Ciro, and I'm using the blue and the white as my vertical and horizontal stripes. So these are the colors. But this is actually, it's the Fiber Co. So here is the label for that. And angelic is the white and the blue is divine. But this is not silk. It is 40% um, alpaca, 40% cotton, and 20% wool. And so I did block it. I put it on stitch holders and blocked it because that did kind of freak me out a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, wouldn't that just suck to get the whole thing done and have have to rip all those out because yeah. frankly those are a little tedious um mm -hmm. it's a little annoying to do the crochet hook but it's gonna i think the effect is gonna be good when it's oh, all yeah. said and done yeah i definitely. think i'm gonna really like it and once i've got a lot more white um stripes completed in it once i get enough of the blue ones i think all of that will make a lot more sense um, it's very pretty. But very when I, very yes. nice color combination. It looks yeah. like a winter wonderland. It does. I, it does. It looks like it's skunk. snowing. You're right. Yeah. Yes. yes. So hopefully, hopefully I can get that done. I have been doing all that gift netting because I really needed to get those hats and mitts done so we could, Rick could gift those uh -huh. at work. And I just really hope, oh God, you know, it makes you real nervous when you knit for somebody. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, I know them, I know two of the three girls pretty well, and they're wonderful, and I don't know the third one at all, and I have no idea what size her head is. <laughs> I just, and, you know, worsted weight mitts, they fit me, I had my daughter try them on, I've had a couple of other people try them on, just to make sure that they fit a variety of hand sizes, so I felt pretty confident, but you know, ugh. I'm going to ask them to take a picture and send them to me so I can put them on my project page. Oh, that's a good idea. When it's all done, if they will allow themselves to be on my project page. I mean, I won't show them on here, but anyway. So do you have another whip? I do. Okay. So I went deep diving, not in my stash, but in projects ah. that I haven't been working on for quite a while. And I pulled out my latte sweater by Kadri. And um, the, I'm using the yarn pearls before wine, <laughs> which I love that name. That is a really good name. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's unicorn worsted magenta is the colorway, rid, magenta rhythm. And I have made progress wow. since I Ready. started working on it. <laughs> of course, it's a looser gauge. And there it is. And that, that's pretty accurate right yeah, there. The colors so are good. very, very accurate. And I mean, it does have a little bit of, on that's the back, it has a little bit of pulling, but that's okay. That's kind of interesting. That's really pretty. <laughs> well, it's, it's that tiger stripe and it shows, the, the pulling shows more on the camera than well, it that's true to the human eye. So. Well, and once I divided for sleeves, it's gotten a little more stripey, but that's okay. I don't mind that either. No. It's just, it, it this yarn, I mean, it's so supposed to be worsted, but it is more, I think more of a air and bulky weight because the gauge on this is 15 and I'm and not having, in. Yeah. And it, there's no problem on it at all. Such beautiful yarn. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. So you did a gauge swatch, I'm sure. Yeah. And yeah. when you blocked it, did it just like fluff up and fill Yeah. In? And I think, looking at this, I'm pretty sure I blocked it. Oh, like right about here. Mm. It changes the feel. Yeah, the feel changes. Yeah. And <laughs> it's a little bit more, Has it, I mean, you can hold it up and you see. You can almost see, yeah. You can see. It was right about in here, right before I did the separation mm. for sleeves. And so, yeah, I kind of want to get Yeah, you done. can tell. You can actually, closing your eyes, feel right where mm -hmm. it just softened up. It probably has spinning oil in it. It could be. Because it just bloomed and yeah. got way softer. It almost feels ropey here, and up here it feels like... It's just really it's just super yeah. soft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 
I am excited to get this finished. And it's going fairly quickly. Yeah. You know, it is a lot of knit, 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 knit. And I, have, I get bored after a while, so then I have to pick something else up. But I don't have anything this color, and I really like this color. Yeah, it looks me. good on you. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So hopefully that will be done soon as well. Nice. <laughs> so it was, you know, it was funny when I pulled it out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got, I got to the point where I can do sleeves now. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was fun. <laughs> yeah. So it's going fast. Alrighty. And my next whip is the Sampler Baby Blanket by Ooh. Plymouth Yarn. Oh, we have. I haven't seen this in no, a while. No, not for a while. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're yes. making progress. Oh, look at that. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, oh so my gosh, cares. the color changing is beautiful. What it looks like. Oh, wow, Janet, that's so good. That's one lucky baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Second blanket. One of our friends, Terry, made this. And um, I saw that and I was like, oh. I have to make the same blanket because it's just gorgeous. <clears throat> so the yarn that I'm using is the Yarnspirations Karen Baby Cakes. That is so pretty, isn't it? I love the colors. And the color is Sky Gazer. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it is a nylon acrylic yarn. So yeah, it'll be washable. So soft. It is really soft. It's a pleasure to knit with. Yeah. It really is. So is so, does the blanket take just like the one whole skein of yarn? It's gonna take a little more than a skein. Oh, okay. Nice. From what I'm I'm thinking. <laughs> so actually, so I've got five sections completed on this, and there's nine sections. So I have a little less than half. I mean, I'm thinking it's going to take more yarn than that, but I don't know for sure. That's really but, pretty. So it is very pretty. So. I bet that is fun because you're constantly it is, changing. It is fun because you are you're changing patterns. So you do each pattern for 18 rows, and then you switch. You do some pearl bumps in between each of the patterns, and then. Um, so you know and then of course your yarns change colors and so it's always oh, fun yeah. it's a fun knit and it's machine washable and dryable there's so right. much going for it yes <laughs> yeah. right oh so. that baby's gonna be he's a snuggling little baby. in there yeah. for sure <laughs> yes. all right so, so do i do? have i have a couple of things so um I have been working on my little vanilla socks that have the ruffle. I'm on the toe. So here's the first one. They're just a vanilla sock. Um, I did the short row heel on these, which is why I ended up doing the short row heel on that Christmas stocking. And I was watching Pia Trans from 50 Fabulous and now Traveling Miss. Fits. Knits. Miss, Miss Knits. Miss Traveling <laughs> Miss Knits. And she was doing a Pico Edge on a top down sock and I thought it looked adorable. And so I went out and found the instructions for it on YouTube. And then I'm just doing the rounded. It looks kind of pointy here, but it's the rounded umbrella toe. And so the second one, I'm working on the toe and pretty mm -hmm. soon I could have that done today. I probably should when we're done and we're sitting up there finishing our wine and talking and knitting. Mm -hmm. I should probably just finish that darn toe so these things can be done. Yeah. yeah. And I can quit talking them. about them yeah. on here because you you're probably tired of seeing them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and wearing those beauties because they're yeah. super great with boots. 
So, did you notice that I'm wearing my Christmas I socks? I love them. Hang on. Oh, she's going to take her boot off. Hang on. You might as well see my cute little Christmas socks. Oh, those are adorable. Those are so oh. cute. <laughs> I think I have that same yarn, but different colorway. Yeah, it's really a good one. Huh. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else I'm wearing, right? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, it goes with your red, it goes with your pants, my jeans, and my boots. Yeah. yeah, very nice. All the things. <laughs> and to be able to get my foot up like that, that's got to be that's pretty, pretty impressive. Good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. right. I've been doing your yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have another one? I have one more, and this is another one that was I haven't been working on. And it's the Killer Queen Cowl by Mary Anarella. Yep, also known as Lyrical Knits. Okay, so I am using the Wool of the Andes Knit Picks and Dove Heather. And then <laughs> this is something I, this other yarn, I'm pretty sure Superwash, but I have no idea what it is. I don't, I don't even know where I got it. And there is no label. <laughs> so, it's a beautiful color. Uh -huh. It was before I got really got into knitting, and uh, I was doing crocheting, and you know, it wasn't. I didn't know I was supposed to be doing that. So <laughs> yeah. saving labels. Anyway, so I have not started it again, but that's how far I've gotten. And oh, that's pretty. Yeah. That's another fun knit too, where you're changing yeah. patterns. Yeah. Yeah, that one's really. Or not I, changing patterns, but changing uh, the stitch the stitches. Stitch, the stitches. Yeah, right. Exactly. The stitch pattern. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's beautiful. That's. This is where we are. Doesn't that match mm. the background color? This dove heather isn't that almost oh, the yes. same color as those gloves you just showed me today? Kind of. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, so that'll be nice. Well, yes. then you want to get so that finished. Yeah. And then the, here's the yarn. And I have, like I said, I have no idea what it is, but it's really pretty. It is really yes, pretty. It is. Yeah. So, yeah. If you I have a lot of it. I do. I might even be able to do a um, some color work with it at another day, time. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it, it is pretty. Yeah, it's got a real subtle color change. Yeah. Yep, so. So hmm. we'll see how long it takes me to get back on that one. Nice. <laughs> but I have other stuff that I'm not working on. I haven't worked on for a while, so I decided I'm not going to show those. I gotta untangle my all my yarn for her, too. <laughs> well, okay. while she's untangling, do you have another whip? No, I, that's all I have to show today. I didn't make enough progress to uh, bring anything else. Okay, today. well, I have one that I'll show them. If for our longtime viewers, and I mean like <laughs> this time last year maybe. Oh, yeah. I am working on the Lyra by Natasha Hornby, otherwise known as Moonstruck Knits. And I love the sweater, and I don't know why I stalled on it. I think some shiny, pretty new pattern <laughs> came out. It caught my eye, and I laid this down thinking I was going to lay it down for a hot minute, and it's been a hot, a lot of hot minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll hot show months. you where I am. It is just beautiful. I'm actually, I started on a sleeve. This is all done in Pearl Soho's Widgeon yarn. And the colorways that I'm using on this are Eucalyptus Gray, um, Honeysuckle Pink, and Whiskey Brown. And I will bring them all up so you can see them in their glory. So here is the Widgeon label, and this yarn is fabulous. As a matter of fact, Janet was making a purchase of some Pearl Soho yarn, and 
she only needed a, a little bit, not enough to get free shipping, and I had her <laughs> order an entire sweaters quantity for me of this whiskey brown. Oh, I just love that color. Um, and I also bought the yarn to make one of the Lyras because I love it so much. Oh, it's just so and gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah. So I bought some of the Widgeon also. This, it just feels so good. I can't even figure out why I laid it down. I'm not kidding. And the stitch pattern is so easily memorized and it's so easy to know when, you know, they say continue in pattern as you're doing your increases, you know, and you get enough stitches and you do the thing and uh, it just looks so good. So this is an amazing pattern. It taught me some things. I had never ever picked up stitches around a collar. I don't know if you saw that up close. I don't know if any of you have knit this, but see how the collar is actually going sideways. It's not knit up and down. You pick up the stitches after you've done the neckline and um, go around and you somehow pick up and knit two together and you're knitting back and forth this That's way. Re they look it's really cute. I Isn't like it that a really detail. cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love so detail. I am only a little ways on the sleeve, and I can't remember when I laid it down if I was far enough that I needed to decide whether I was doing the fancy sleeve. You would have seen the picture, but one sleeve is straight. One sh option oh, is right. straight, and the other one sort of has this fancier pattern. Um, from just above the elbow down and so I'm thinking about that I'm still undecided I've got plenty of yarn now that um, Janet bought that yarn and I ordered more so this is going to become a very active whip <coughs> excuse me right at this moment so anyway I'm all excited about it do you have more? I do not. Okay, me either. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have one dream knit, and I'm kind of getting anxious to, I don't know, I think I have, <laughs> what's it, um, I need to start something. Mm -hmm. And so I have this Queensland Kathmandu Aran yarn, and it is, Marina silk and cashmere, and it, it's just beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh -huh. And so it's like it's time. It needs to get become something, and it's real tweety, which I like. And I ran saw this pattern. It's called Whisper, and it's by This Bird Knits. And I thought oh, this might make a really nice. Um, sweater out of that pattern, but then I held it with some off white stuff. <laughs> I'm going, Well, that would be really pretty as color work. So, anyway, this the uh whisper pattern is it's cabled on the body, uh, front and back. And I bet that'll be gorgeous in that. I think it would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. So We'll see. Cast on itis. This is what That's what it is. I was going to feel your yes. head, your forehead, and see if you had a case of that, but I do have it's a hard case to tell. <laughs> I do have a case of that, but then I keep going, oh, I have another, sw I have two more sweaters and bags <laughs> that <laughs> right. might need attention. Well, well, it doesn't mean I can't start something else. The thing is, you finished two sweaters face cl face cloths too yes i did and you finished a sweat oh you finished two, two sweaters. sweaters yeah yeah no wonder you have a case of cast on itis <laughs> mm. it's a real thing i am um, i've got like a analysis paralysis right now there are so many beautiful things that i want to cast on and i really do want to do the um oh the um yeah 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 what's it called <sighs> Lyra? No. No, I'm that's doing, what you're working on. I'm doing the Lyra. Well, okay. We talked the about it last. Letho. Letho. The Letho, yes. We all three bought yarn for that, and we need. We want to do it together, but Claudia is going to be out of country for a little bit in uh, January. January yeah. So we want to wait till she gets back, but man, oh man, I'm chomping at the bit to get started well, on that. Well, you know what? I'm kind of chomping at the bit on that myself. 
Maybe um, we start it before you go. Could you take it with you? I probably could. Depend, yeah, I know it's, it's kind of bulky, but <laughs> uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get done on that trip, though. That's just it. It's Right. There's a lot of, and there's a lot of travel going from flights and, because I'm going to South America and starting in Santiago, Chile, and then we go to the Atacama Desert. And then we get on an airplane and fly to Iguazu Falls. Oh, man. And wow. go into Brazil and stay there for a few days. And then we go to <laughs> where? Oh, then we go to Rio and then to Cusco to go to Machu Picchu. So there's lots of air travel. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my stuff packed and then figure out if I can take something with me. Oh, wow. And I don't know how much I will really... Oh, how much weight, too, right? Weight, Did, yeah. One of those flights, don't you have like yeah, a 30-something pounds, pounds yeah. restriction? But I'm kind of thinking it'll be okay because I'll just have to pay for the extra weight, so I'm not too worried about it, but... Yeah, I'll have to see how packed my suitcase is. Right, and right. And how much space I have, so, yeah. Man. Okay, so that is yours. I had, I'm trying to figure out, I think it's the Friday Slipover by Petit Nuts. Is that the one that they made? I've talked about it. I want, I, I'm chomping at the bit to get this on I my needles. I think you're right. I think so, that's what it is. Isn't it when when we ran into Moon Drake mm -hmm. at Pick Up Every Stitch? And it's called what again? Friday Slipover. Friday Slipover by Petite Knit. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I was just watching the knitting posse and one is on the go. And I'm just I saw it <laughs> and it's in this burnt orange. It's kind of it, it resembles this color only maybe a little brighter, like pumpkin. Oh, color. Yeah. Oh, just so gorgeous. But I got this, what is it called? Slate. This brown gray color. And I've talked about it a couple of times, but mm, I really <laughs> want it. <laughs> um, you're probably tired of hearing me talk about it and not have it on my needle. So I'm gonna, I need to get that on. And um, are we going to talk about acquisitions? I know. No, but if you if okay, you I have, have a gift. One. You got a gift. Yeah. I have an acquisition that I really want to show you guys. Um, my son and daughter-in-law got me this amazing yarn winder, ball winder. Wow! So that was so nice. Of them. I know, yeah. right? So it's. Um, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, I can with while holding on to it. Is that not like the coolest thing ever? So it's wooden and beautiful there's a little hole here for this gizmo to go into to attach it to the countertop or a table of some sort um i use kitchen island because it's it's there got it's there it's got plenty <laughs> of space yes. <laughs> and it works well but i just think that is so cool um but I just got that for Christmas. We got together with, with them for dinner the other night because we're not doing the whole big family thing. We really enjoy taking the kids out one group at a time because we've got six kids and all of them have family and other people. Yeah. So it's That's really, nice. it's nice to be able to do that. And then you're spending time just with that one mm -hmm. group. And I just feel like it's better time you know yeah. like mm -hmm. you can talk and it's not right. all the interruptions and right because at the end of having everybody over I I kind of I'm like did I even get a talk to like you know mm -hmm. pick any one of the kids or grandkids and the answer is no you had no meaningful conversations with anybody because you were busy you're busy doing and getting interrupted to do other mm -hmm. things and it's not that they don't help because they do it's just you're always on the yeah, move, and yeah. it just makes it hard. So yeah. we love doing it this way. It's so good. They get to pick the restaurant they want to go to. and Nice. Yeah. Very nice. So anyway, I just thought that was very cool. It is I very love cool. It. Wow. So anyway, I don't have anything else to share. 
But we do either. have a delicious bottle of wine to taste. It's calling our name. Yeah, so um, it's probably time to head to the tasting table. And uh, so we'll see you there in just a split second. <laughs> That's surprising how far over it has to be so it doesn't look like it's right at my nose. nose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so we are back. Today we're tasting a Coletto Estate Native Sun. It's a 2021 California red blend. And the um, tasting notes on this, so it's a blend, it's not anything particular, right? It's all, all kinds of things. It is bold, slightly tannic, dry, and acidic. Well, that sounds like a cab to me, yeah. or a Merlot, or any of the other a big blend. reds that yeah. we drink. Mm -hmm. um, so it says that we should, um, the oaky notes are chocolate, oak, and vanilla. The red fruit notes are cherry, raspberry, and strawberry, oh. which is, that's interesting. Hmm. And then the black fruit notes are blackberry, plum, and dark fruit. So let's just see, because I it's a very young, it's 2021. I mean, this thing's just barely off it's the vines. It's a baby. Yeah. It's a baby. <laughs> yeah, this is like clearly an infant. Mm. Delicious cherry and strawberry. Yeah. For the price nice. point, that's a, that's pretty tasty. Was is it, this a Napa wine? Um, yeah, Coleto and Sons is, um, we've actually been to the estate when they first opened up and the wine was crap back then. Oh, it was, really? oh my God, it was so bad. And Melissa had this in. So she had this at one of her tastings. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't have it here. But this is, um, the price point on this is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. It's nine, It shows that you can get this for $19.99. For 12 or more bottles, the single bottle price is $24.99. So all of the wine that's under $30 a bottle is at the end of the island upstairs. Mm -hmm. And the rest is in the wine cellar. And it, it just makes it easier for us to keep track of mm -hmm. what's, you what? Know, what's what. But um, when I was grabbing a bottle today, I went, you know what? We tasted a Coletto wine, Coletto wine sometime in the last month or two here on the podcast oh and but this one is the native son and i think the other one might have been a cab but um do, does that sound right do you remember Probably. that i don't remember coletto don't so maybe remember. we didn't taste it here maybe we drank it <laughs> maybe <laughs> oh, sorry. Now we, I'm right. sorry wrong. maybe we drank it <laughs> oh up like on um, a Tuesday when, when we, we weren't knitting, podcasting, because yeah. we right. get together on Tuesdays, and we'll one week we're knitting, the next week we're podcasting, or maybe we knit for two weeks in a row and then podcast. But it, you know, it depends on what we've got going on. But it might have been one of those days that I pulled out yeah. the Coletto because I remember we drank it together. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's really delicious. It and is for that really price. delicious. I love, love, love that label. That is a gorgeous yeah. label. Yeah. It re you know what it looks like? Stick season is what it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a tree with the leaves gone and it doesn't look like there's snow on the ground. So it does look very wintry. It does. Uh -huh. I'm going to take it up and so um, they can... The picture oh, yeah, that's right. You already yeah. have a picture. So the picture will be at the beginning, and it's again, right after we taste, it'll be the full screen of just that. But yeah, it's this is pretty delicious. Uh -huh. I would... Uh -huh. um, it, it does have a lot of fruit. Yeah. Well, it's very young, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. you can't keep a red blend, when you, especially when you don't know what all's in it. And it really, it doesn't say... But it's like nice and earthy at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. Well, no, it's... <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. Excuse me a second. I have a timer to turn off. Oh, right. That was from our other. So this says it's a gamultuous blend of red varietals. It's soft, 
and epicuriously alchemist. <laughs> well, Woo. so here's the thing. <laughs> There's a lot of blending going on is what they're saying. Yeah. It's a, these are a bunch of 25 cent words on the back of this that mean that it's um, lots of stuff blended together for a delicious deep flavor. <laughs> <laughs> There's your Tamithosaurus right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So don't forget you two winners to yes. email us all of your contact information, please. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you include your phone number if you're out of the United States. What else do we need to tell them? That we do Ravel. not contact anybody. Right. You You're, contact us. you got to give us your Ravelry name. And do this quickly, please. As soon as you watch it, let us know right away. Because Rebecca is donating all the proceeds from those two patterns. To the Fistula Foundation. Yeah, and she's yes. cutting that off at the end of December. And so we only have, what, 12 days till the end of the year? Yeah. And we really want to get these prizes out to you and get that Ravelry um, downloaded into your okay. into your own Ravelry accounts so that she can get credit for those sales. And thanks again, Sharon. That is like yeah. yes. amazing. Sharon, thank yep. you. Cheers Very to fun. you. Yeah. Yes. Cheers, Cheers to you to and you. all of you. Yes. Yeah. So yes. don't forget, please like and subscribe, all those things. It really does help the channel. Mm -hmm. And we're sorry about the commercials, but we're really happy to make project bags and do so many giveaways and mail them any place in the world. And we're using that little bit of money from the commercials um, that we make to pay for all that. So it's not, it's not a lot. And we try to cut a bunch of them out. So I know somebody complained, but mm -hmm. be kind to us because we are doing this because we love to knit. We love to hang out together. Yeah. And we love to talk about what we knit, right? Yes, and we do. We want to we be able to, to share. share all that. And, you know, when I started making project bags and sharing them with these guys, we want to be able to share them with you too. And it's not cheap to mail those and yarn and so forth. So hopefully in the coming year, we'll be able to reach out. There are a couple of yarn dyers that have offered to um, mm -hmm. donate some yarn that they've dyed and uh, some of those are just fabulous. Mm -hmm. You've seen McMullen Fibers. Yeah, McMullen yeah. Fibers is one for sure and I'm telling you, if you haven't checked their website, you should because just gorgeous. Beautiful. And Shandy from Expression, Expression Fiber, Fiber Arts, Arts. Yes, she already yes. has, has donated <clears throat> some yarn. We still have two skeins of her gorgeous yarn upstairs that will probably, um, when we hit 4,000, subscribers oh, that'll be a, a really good one to yeah. to use uh -huh. for that but anyway i guess until next time if you, you can't, can't be with, with the wine you love love the wine you're with cheers cheers and happy holidays yes happy holidays, happy holidays.